So let's start with the sky. This is a uh, cobalt blue. I'm putting that in very strong at the top. The next uh, area here is just slightly lighter. You know when you get a, um, a really blue, blue sky, it's always much intense, more intense up above oh, yeah. you. And then it fades as you get down. And then lighter tone again. I'm just going to just blend that a little. slightly warm colour down here. I want to introduce some, some warmth into the sky. This is a, what I call a Naples yellow. A little bit of white there in that. I'm mixing these colours up a little so that it's not banned, so otherwise you tend to get a stripy effect. And you notice at that stage there's a, a little speckly effect You'll soon learn how much pastel needs to be on there before you can blend it like this. The light will be coming this way and it means that my clouds will have hard edges on that side and the shadow on the other side. These are the things you need to consider. All of your um, shadows and light and shade needs to be consistent. So I'm just wriggling this white around into the nice dark blue there, so the soft bluey grey colour for the shadow side of the cloud. And then what I'm doing now is just blending the transition between the white and the grey, not the edge of the white, just this little bit, and taking, softening it out into the other parts. Over the top of that now, over that grey shadow area, put in another white edge. So that the clouds um, are more three dimensional. So I'm going to put in the mountain. As, notice again I'm using the flat of the pastel, so I get quick coverage and nice, uh, I won't get a hard line on the edge either. And what I'm trying to create is a sense that the mountains are a long way away. Pastel uh, stick to indicate a row of trees next to it. Just lightly touching it onto the surface. Nice muted green because this is a summery scene so on all these fields will have a slightly different colour to them. Just a few marks like that, suddenly it, be, it looks a little bit more uh, it, correct, really. I'm warming things up a little. And so now if I come down behind the chimneys now, get the front in and so that means that the the gable ends in shadow what I'm going to do now is use the color shaper to drag the colors together diagonally the direction that the roof slopes 
and you get a lovely smooth effect. So we're going to have a nice rusty tin roof and again I'm putting in a variety of colours, a bit of a bright red and now with the, uh, the charcoal pencil again which is um, <coughs> very useful for the <coughs> windows put in just a hint. I don't want them to be too neat. And I'm only putting three panes in in most cases. And so now I'm going to put some foliage around them. So we'll start with some dark green around here and you'll notice I'm coming in now behind that white and defining the end of the building and immediately it neatens it up. So I'm going to put in these tree trunks and you notice I'm not drawing them um, either with a pencil or with a, um, the end of the pastel. I'm using the length of the pastel where I've got this corner and what you'll get then is a much more natural and a broken line. So this is towards the end of summer now, obviously this is um, lovely grasses with reddish seed heads. And it might look a bit too prominent there, so we'll just tone it down a bit. Green, that's lovely. It might look a bit um, extreme. But immediately you go over that then, you see, and, and look towards the bright colours. Now, I'm going to let you into a little secret. A technique I, I use for seed heads and flowers and things in the foreground. Is called the, I call it the scraping technique and it has to be done flat like this and you'll see why. If I lay the painting down like that, I get a stick of pastel and a palette knife and just scrape a few flakes. Put a few on, just press the ones I want to stay and you see this lovely effect you get with the, So it looks very natural and much more effective than dotting them around. I've got my way in, I've got a uh, transition between the different planes, the cool, slightly warmer and the much warmer and stronger, more detail and if I feel that it's, uh, I've got the sense of recession then I'm happy. I don't actually show all of that dark, uh, yeah. mm. oh, right. See, yeah. so that's right. just enough. Yeah. Yeah. It looks like a lot when I haven't got this on, mm. yes. but once you get them out round it and mm. I've gone up a little it's just a, it's, it sort of fades to dark, doesn't it? Rather than, um, and I do try to fade it to dark. You get that softness then.